Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, welcome. My name is Jess. I love to post videos about health, fitness, and lifestyle, talking all things nutrition, workouts, and just my life as a military wife, sonography student, and whatnot. If you guys are returning, thank you for jumping back on. I am very excited about this little video because I think it is so important in your fitness journey. So if you're somebody who hasn't tracked before or you have tracked, it doesn't matter. This is still gonna apply to you and your journey because depending if you're trying to lose weight and cut or gain weight and bulk, consuming these different foods are gonna make a big difference in reaching those goals. In today's video, we're gonna talk about bulking foods versus cutting foods or AKA lower calorie foods versus higher calorie foods. If you are cutting, it means you are consuming less calories than you are burning so you can lose weight. If you are bulking, that means you're gonna be consuming more calories than you're burning so you can gain weight and or muscle. So what we're gonna do is break down 10 different food swaps. 10 different things you can do to switch up from a more of a cutting style diet to more of a bulking style diet. Different foods that are lower calorie versus higher calorie that are gonna taste similar or make similar dishes. Let's jump right into it. Our first high calorie versus low calorie food is going to be pasta versus spaghetti squash. Pasta being our higher calorie bulking food, spaghetti squash being our low calorie cutting food. Just to break these two down for you, I am not against eating pasta. These are both carbohydrate based foods. However, one serving of pasta is about 200 calories and 41 carbs compared to spaghetti squash. You can eat a lot of it. Eight ounces is a big serving of spaghetti squash and that is going to total to about 61 calories and 15 carbs. So this is a huge difference. So if you want a big bowl up meal you feel like you're still really hungry also you're gonna get a lot of nutrients from spaghetti squash because it is a vegetable but you can create pasta like dishes with it it is way 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 lower calorie way way less carbs versus somebody if you are trying to get in your calories and bulk up then i do not recommend eating spaghetti squash you're gonna have to eat like three of them so go ahead and eat your pasta Moving on to the next, this one's actually gonna have three different ones in them because they kind of compare. We're gonna compare whole wheat bread to lavash bread to rice cakes. All things you can kind of make sandwiches out of, make toast, that kind of thing. I want you to be able to have different options. So for my bulking person, for my person wanting more calories, eat your whole wheat bread. One slice of whole wheat bread is gonna be about 110 calories, about 21 grams of carbs. One serving of lavash bread or flat bread that I love to use in a lot of my recipes is going to be about 60 calories and eight carbs. Then if you wanna go even on the lighter side for maybe like a snack, Lightly salted Quaker rice cakes. I think they're delicious with peanut butter. They're gonna be about 35 calories and seven grams of carbs. But these are just some options you guys can choose between depending on your goals. Items number three, tortillas versus spring roll wraps. Our normal sized tortilla, because we have large tortillas these days, a normal like medium sized tortilla, going to be about 150 calories, about 23 grams of carbs compared to two spring roll wraps, which is a serving. They are gonna be about 60 calories and about 14 grams of carbs. If you guys do want some recipes with these foods, these are all items that I eat. And you guys can definitely check out more recipes on my Instagram, I like to post them all the time. I do also have some YouTube videos though that show me making different recipes with these food items. Moving on, number four. 93.7 lean ground beef compared to skirt steak. Both delicious, again, both things I eat. This is by no means comparing foods you should or shouldn't have. However, our 93.7 lean ground beef for six ounces is gonna be about 255 calories and that'll have about 12 grams of fat in it. Compared to a skirt steak, six ounces is going to be about 374 calories and about 20 grams of fat. So again, just options to have to consume your guys' protein sources. These ones are gonna be higher in fat or typically also gonna be higher in calories. Simple as that. Moving on, number five, olive oil versus olive oil spray. Me and Ronnie consume a lot of olive oil, to be honest. And especially in our bulk that we just went through a bulking season, it's an easy way to get your calories up, your fats up, with putting in a tablespoon of olive oil to your food. So a tablespoon of olive oil is about 119 calories and about 14 grams of fat. Compared to olive oil spray, which is zero calories, 
and zero everything else. Olive oil spray is a great tool to use if you are cutting and you want to crisp up food or you need to have or you need to have your pan be a little bit more slick, but you don't want any of the calories, use the spray, my friends. I highly recommend that over like Pam or canola oil. It's gonna be a little bit healthier. Just use the zero, 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 zero olive oil spray. Number six, peanut butter versus hummus. I love peanut butter. I put it in so many things. However, nuts are a fat, they tend to be higher calories. So a serving of peanut butter is gonna be about 190 calories and about 16 grams of fat compared to hummus. A serving will be about 70 calories and about five grams of fat. These are both foods that you can have with vegetables on toast. You can have them with fruits. You can have them with crackers. However, there's gonna be a little bit of a difference. Number seven, chicken breast versus rotisserie chicken. Both delicious. I am a big fan of rotisserie chicken, especially if you're on the go. If you guys have a Costco around you, they're the only store keeping those rotisserie chickens nice and cheap, I highly recommend. Anyway, six ounces of chicken breast, about 204 calories. Six ounces of rotisserie chicken, about 361 calories. Again, a pretty dang big difference that is due to the fat that's incorporated into the chicken. Doesn't mean it's a bad option, but it is going to be higher calorie. If you're trying to have lower calorie, I recommend the chicken breast. If you want to bulk up those calories, go eat some rotisserie chicken. It's delicious. Number eight, regular Greek yogurt versus zero fat Greek yogurt. When we have regular, Greek yogurt. It's gonna be about 170 calories for a serving compared to zero fat Greek yogurt is going to be about 90 calories per serving. I love Greek yogurt. It's a great way to get protein in. It is a great snack. It is a great dessert. All of the above. Highly recommend either one depending on your goals. We are coming down to the wire. Number nine. A good one, guys ice cream. My kryptonite, we're going to talk about Yazo Greek yogurt bars compared to Magnum bars. Both are delicious. I really enjoy Yazo bars. I think they taste like ice cream. I do, even though it's Greek yogurt. So in my Yazo Greek yogurt bar, I can have one bar for a hundred calories compared to one Magnum bar. Let me tell you, they're about the same size. That's going to be 250 calories. If you guys want to uh, remember what we just talked about, we just talked about that six ounces of chicken breast is about 200 calories. So this one little Magnum bar is going to cost you more calories than six ounces of chicken. All right, number 10, last but certainly not least, let's talk shrimp versus salmon. Both foods I probably eat every single week. However, very, very different in calories. One serving of shrimp, 112 grams, and that's gonna give you about 60 calories. Compared to 112 grams of salmon is going to be about 233 calories. 60, 233. I freaking love both options, but they are very, very different. And depending on your bulking or cutting goals, your high calorie versus low calorie goals, you might wanna take that into consideration. Okay, my friends, that wraps up these 10 different food swaps, whether you're looking for low calorie foods, high calorie foods, all of these foods are items I think you may and should and can consume. They are not to point one food as bad, one food as good. That is not what this video is about. But depending on your goals, are you trying to cut, are you trying to eat lower calorie, or are you trying to bulk, are you like, how the heck can I get more calories in? Hopefully these foods will help you know what you can incorporate into your diet to hit those calorie goals and hit your fitness goals too. Like I said at the beginning of this video too, it doesn't matter if you are tracking or not. Maybe you were just being intuitive. Now you can more intuitively know if you're having more calorically dense foods versus less calorically dense foods. If you guys like this video, please, please give it a thumbs up. It lets me know and I can make more like this. If you have questions, let me know in the comments below too about bulking and cutting. I'll be happy to answer those for you. If you guys haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. It supports me a ton and I really do appreciate it. And I love seeing you guys back on here all the time. I will see you in the next video. Bye.